Yes, Wen, thank you so much for joining us this morning. A pleasure, Joanne. So if, if parents out there have kids in one of your schools, which is the Lester B. Pearson School Board, uh, they're going to be hearing a lot more about uh, the proposed budget because are there concerns, first and foremost, that the budget will be affecting your school board? There are real concerns that the budgets will be affecting every school board and the English school boards get a double whammy because as we suffer from restricted enrollment from Bill 101, we lose our per student grants and then we're faced with these drastic cuts. Cuts which may be as much as double the largest cut we've ever seen before. And so uh, the question I, every parent out there has is how will this affect their, the students? How will this affect the quality of education and the services? Our number one goal when we're dealing with budget issues is to make sure that the students don't feel the effect. That's our number one goal. We've been asked and we absolutely support the notion of not cutting services to students. Mm -hmm. But if we're asked to cut over eight million additional dollars, a total of 19 million dollars, by next September, it doesn't give us a lot of marge de manoeuvre. We need to be able to find ways to sustain services to our children, especially our most vulnerable students. Mm -hmm. we, uh, we spend four to five million dollars every year on our children with special needs that's not funded by the government. Yeah, not funded by the government. So the, the timeline that you just gave seems astronomical. It seems undoable. Are there, is there a plan set in motion? Are, you gonna, are there attempts at negotiations, talks, maybe sort of easing that, that time period? Well, the one thing we're waiting for is uh, the budget rules for education. The budget was announced last week, but the actual rules for education won't come out at least till the end of April. Mm -hmm. And we hope they do come out by the end of April because the longer they take, the less time we have to implement. We're hoping that those budget rules can possibly give us a little bit of oxygen that they're not based the way they've always been based, which is straight across the board per student cuts. You talked about this uh, just, uh, just a couple seconds ago, really, about the vulnerability of the school boards and the English schools because of enrollment. What do you think that maybe the Liberal government is not getting about school boards and English school boards in Montreal when you see the budget that's just come out? Well, they don't see the uh, different ways that we go about in educating our students. They don't see the way we've modified ped pedagogy, the way we've implemented new technologies and new learning methods in our classrooms. We are very non-traditional. Mm -hmm. uh, we do a lot of experiential learning. We lo do a lot of inquiry-based learning, student-led learning, really engaging them in their learning. And that sometimes costs some money. Of course. So money, you need money to educate these children and the next step in terms of this, uh, this budget? We're consulting our community. We launched what we call a major school change process. Uh, our policy requires that we consult our community whenever major changes are coming down. So for the, sec the next seven months, we've providing them all the data they could ever want. If we haven't given it to them yet, they can just ask and we'll provide it to see if we can come up with some unique solutions to some of the issues we're facing. They're going to have to be pretty unique, Swen Day. Thank you so much for joining us again from the Lester V. Pearson A School A pleasure, Board. Joanne. Thank you.